Hi, my name is Max Louis. Uh, I studied abroad in Madrid, Spain, and uh, I studied at the Universidad Carlos III de Madrid. And uh, my emphasis is on Spanish as well as Western Europe with a really uh, a focus on marketing was my business concept. And uh, I was really fortunate when I was traveling abroad. I, I got to travel to six different countries. I went to Portugal, Netherlands, Italy, France, um, many, many different cities within Spain. Um, as well as, uh, I think I already said Germany. Um, and it was just a great experience to be able to do that. Um, m my biggest recommendation and biggest advice for somebody who's studying abroad uh, would definitely be to figure out a way to get involved um, and avoid hanging, uh, spending time with people of your same culture. This is how you're really going to benefit the most from this immersion process. Uh, for example, something that I did was I lived with um, mostly all Spanish people, all native Spaniards. Um, and the ways that I got involved were um, I walked on to the college basketball team of the Universidad Carlos III de Madrid. I was the only American English-speaking player in the team, which this is a way for me to um, really learn the facets of the Spanish language um, and really learn that colloquial language, things that you can't learn in a textbook. And I think this is really a unique study abroad um, experience that I had, and I would really recommend um, um, other study abroad students, future prospective study abroad students, to pursue the same things. Not necessarily playing for a college basketball team, but figure out other ways to get involved. And there's always ways to get involved like that on campus. My lesson would be just being able to relate to people from other cultures. Hence the basketball example, being able to travel all, all over the world. I would say, uh, in, influencing the rest of my life, um, I'm a person who is expecting to engage in international business. For example, I have an internship with an international company right now called Roche. And, and there's, there's so many opportunities to work outside of the United States. And with my experiences of being able to speak another language, um, having this element of comfort, comfortability of navigating throughout other cultures and, and, and different countries, um, as well as just having this cross-cultural competency, I mean, it will bode me well in my future experiences. Hi, my name is Max Louie. Um, I'm a student at San Diego State University, and I recently studied abroad at the Universidad Carlos III de Madrid in Madrid, Spain. Uh, I, I lived there from August to January, so I spent a full six months there. I was really fortunate. I got to travel um, you know, all over Western Europe. I traveled to Italy, uh, the Netherlands, uh, Germany, France, many, many small cities within Spain, uh, among other places. I was really privileged to have that opportunity. My biggest advice to students that are about to study abroad uh, would really be to make a conscious effort to immerse yourself within the culture. That means um, do your absolute best to um, avoid spending time with people of your native culture and really immerse yourself because it's a once in a lifetime opportunity to spend time with, for, my, for example, my experiences with Spaniards. So um, ways that I went about approaching this was I lived with people from the Spanish culture. I lived with Spaniards um, during my time in Madrid. Um, and all the people I associated myself with and spent a lot of time with were people from Europe. Uh, and this really encouraged me and fostered a culture for me that, that six months to really focus on learning the Spanish language, which ultimately is the most important thing that I, that I wanted to do for myself while I was abroad. Um, and while it was frustrating at times, um, it was so important for my development, and I, I'm able to see that now looking back. Um, so that was definitely some of the biggest piece of advice I could give um, some study abroad students. Um, another story that I think uh, really stands out to me was ways that I could get involved. Um, and I really encourage prospective study abroad students to do the same thing. Um, I, I walked onto the college basketball team at the Universidad Carlos III de Madrid. Um, and again, this was difficult at times because there were some language barriers um, and cultural differences. However, I was able to cope with that. Uh, I was playing on a college basketball team where I was the only American and the only English-speaking player. Um, and this was such a great, unique experience because uh, I had the opportunity to learn things that I could not learn from a standard textbook um, and sitting in a classroom. I was learning the colloquial language of Spanish, of, of Madrid. Uh, I was learning um, how to speak and, and act and think like a native Spaniard uh, as the sole um, American, American person. Um, and this was such a great experience. And now I, I'm, I give this example not to encourage anybody who studies abroad to join a college basketball team, but figure out your own unique way to get involved. Um, I think that is so crucial to uh, getting the most out of the study abroad experience. The, the lesson um, or moral in, in general that I experienced was definitely how crucial it is 
to, to learn how to relate to people of different cultures. Uh, this, uh, especially for people who want to engage in international business in the future. Um, this is something that I, I, I foresee my future in, in working and, and uh, producing in, in other countries. And being able to, to speak different languages, um, being able to relate to people of different cultures um, is critical to doing business. Um, and, and this is definitely the, the lesson that I learned while studying abroad and living in Spain for six months was being able to understand cultural differences and, and being able to relate to these different types of people, um, even though I'd never been to Spain before. And this is truly, uh, I confidently say this, that this is the only way to be able to understand how other cultures operate. Um, it's things that you can't learn in the textbook. Mm -hmm. the, the studies were, were, were challenging. Um, all my classes, uh, you know, as a, as a native English speaker, um, I, was, uh, I was proficient in Spanish. I would consider myself bilingual now. But uh, during, during a lot of my lectures and, and, and just integrating with the students, uh, at times it was very challenging because I'm not going to understand every single word. Uh, I was integrated in full immersion Spanish classes, so the teachers didn't speak very much English at all. And it really forced me uh, to, to learn the Spanish language. Um, all my classes were taught in Spanish with the elements of marketing. So this was my focus while I was abroad, was to learn these marketing classes. And, and it really taught me about the history of Spain. Being around these Spanish students um, really uh, cultivated my development. And I, I really am appreciative of, of this unique opportunity that the San Diego State University International Business Program gave me. Mm -hmm. The study abroad experience really ignited my passion for um, traveling to different, different countries. Um, I don't think my, I will ever be satisfied now that I've, I've, I've seen, I have a taste of what it is like, of how amazing it is to travel and see these new places that I've never seen before. Um, with respect to business, this has definitely encouraged me to continue traveling and, and wanting, wanting to, to learn about these different cultures. And uh, I definitely see it impacting my future business endeavors. Uh, you know, with all the experiences I learned in Spain, like I said before, um, learning to speak a different language, um, being comfortable being in a different place. Um, and, and lastly, um, just having this cross-cultural competency and, and just awareness of, of where I am and who I'm around um, will bode me well in my future endeavors in business. Um, and currently, for example, I have an internship with an international, uh, a big international uh, company called Roche Molecular Diagnostics. And, and studying abroad, it was definitely something that um, Will, will play to my advantages when, it, when I'm applying to these uh, jobs in this, in this really competitive job market. And um, I think this makes me a strong candidate now uh, with, with all these different unique experiences that I have because not many people have the opportunity to study abroad. And it takes a lot of um, passion, effort, and uh, bravery to, to go out into another country, the unknown. Um, something so foreign and uh, I'm, I'm so happy that I did it. I really encourage all students to take this leap if, they ha if they're fortunate uh, to have this opportunity.